Monday, July 13th, for Global Trails Media, Tano TV, and KRIM Radio News, I'm Randy Roberson. Well, after thinking they had just about had the fight against the police fire over and done with, gusty winds from nearby storms stoked the flames up again over the weekend. This caused the Type 1 incident management team, who had planned to turn management of the fire back over to the local Forest Service District, to stick around a little longer. Rocky Gilbert, section chief for that Type 1 team, says it was actually two thunderstorms that caused teams to have to scramble quickly. We had a large thunderstorm that built up off to the east of the fire. We had strong outflow winds that came across this fire area and it found some heat out along uh, inside the fire near H2 and uh, moved uh, fire perimeter uh, roughly a quarter mile out to the west. Um, as that thunderstorm uh, laid down, we had another thunderstorm that picked up over Fossil Creek that uh, caused winds to come out from that thunderstorm and push the fire back towards the east and it basically uh, wrapped itself back around and tied into the original main fire line. So we, uh, we had a, a hell attack crew that went in and, and uh, took command of, of that uh, movement. Uh, we used uh, both helicopters and air tankers to uh, catch that fire. We got retarded all the way around the edge of that fire and then we inserted uh, a hotshot crew and a division supervisor and some medics and those folks worked all night to put in a saw line and hand line on that fire and they were very successful. Talked to them about 5.30 this morning and they were about finished. Uh, so real good work last night. Uh, we're going to be inserting new crews in there today to pick up where they left off and to continue to be aggressive along that perimeter throughout today. And just as a reminder, the Tano National Forest is closed until we receive some significant rains that will reduce the fire danger. Likewise, the Tano Natural Bridge has also been closed due to the police fire. In other news, do you or someone that you know currently struggle with mental health issues? Well, the group NAMI Payson is going to be hosting a free series of Wednesday workshops July 22nd through August 12th for adults dealing with depression and other mental health conditions. Sessions are from 5 until 6.30 p.m. and they are free of charge, but registration is required. You can sign up with an email to namipayson at yahoo.com, that's N-A-M-I Payson at yahoo.com, or leave a voicemail at 928-301-9140. That number again, 928-301-9140. NAMI Payson is a local affiliate of the National Alliance on Mental Health and a 100% volunteer organization dedicated to improving lives of Rim Country residents dealing with mental health challenges. You can learn more by visiting namipayson.org. You can also connect with Nami Payson on Facebook as well. Just search for Nami Payson. Well, taking a look at Rim Country weather, we are looking at another sizzling hot day today. Phoenix reached 116 degrees yesterday afternoon, beating the old record of 115 set back in 2009. Just for a little perspective, they haven't seen a high of 116 since July 25th of 2018. An excessive heat warning remains in effect for the entire Phoenix metro area through this evening. This alert expanded to include much of Arizona over the weekend. A heat advisory is also in effect for far northwestern Mojave County through this evening. Now this heat can be dangerous, even deadly. As such, experts say that you should limit your time outdoors, stay hydrated, keep your pets indoors, and don't forget to check on your elderly friends and neighbors to make sure they're staying cool as well. Many areas could once again tie or set record highs again today. The current record for Phoenix stands at 114 set back in 2005. Dangerously hot temperatures will continue across lower elevations of Arizona and excessive heat warnings remain in effect for much of the state below the 4,500 foot elevation through this evening. Otherwise, isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms are possible each afternoon this week, with acti activity primarily occurring over the higher terrain. Some breezy conditions will be possible this afternoon as a tightening pressure gradient aloft will allow for some breezy southwesterly winds to mix down to the surface today. This mixing will also bring in drier air and that will have the potential to limit storm formation 
over the next few days. You can expect highs in pace and all this week in the mid to upper 90s and lows in the mid 60s. For Global Trails Media, Tano TV, and KRIM Radio News, I'm Randy Roberson. Make it a great Monday.